on the back lot of Universal Studios to give some very special people the surprise of their lives. Right now, there are a group of people boarding one of the Universal Studios tour trams, and they have no idea that they all have something in common. They are all music teachers. Wave goodbye to all of your adoring fans. What everybody doesn't know is that my mom was a teacher, and I love teachers as well. I think they give so much of their time, their money. So today, I teamed up with Norwegian Cruise Line to honor them and do something very amazing. So just wait. All right, next door, there's Gabby Sobeys house played by Eva Longoria. Uh, next door to that, the purple two-story. Have you ever watched The Monsters? Stop this trail! Whoa. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. There's somebody in the street. Oh, that's the other What's up? Y'all are probably wondering. Teacher? Anybody here is here? Oh, that's so convenient! Because we tricked you! We put you all on one tram! This is not a normal tram. No, no, no. That's not how the Kelly Clarkson show does it. This is the tram of dreams! Come around the corner, see a woman in the middle of the street, and I'm like, oh my God, please don't hit her. And it's Kelly Clarkson. It's Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson's in the middle of the street. And then, all of a sudden, boom, confetti everywhere. And there's balloons and people running at the tram. And my heart's just beating a thousand times a minute. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked because this is not going to be an average, normal, universal backlot tour. We're going to make this special. There's a few surprises coming. Just wait. Anybody watch the show Superstore? All right. They're actually taping today. So let's go, y'all. Hey. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Cloud Nine. I'm Hi. America. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi I'm America. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I, I'm living my dream. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. Look, the pretty one showed up. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Pin balls and everybody. It was a really cool moment that these like superstars on this show took the time to like come see these teachers. They said, yeah, we'd love to meet them. Kind of get to show people behind the scenes like this. Not many people get to do that, you know, ever. Hi. All right, well, we still have another surprise for y'all because you're music teachers and they have a special going on in their electronic section, so I want y'all to go check it out. You wanna go? Yeah. All right, all right, let's go. What's up, Jason? <laughs> Jason is actually my musical director. I wanted you to show him the Lumi. This is a really cool thing. This is the Lumi keyboard. It's a new light-up keyboard that lets you or your students learn the songs that they love, even if they've never had piano lessons before. They get to pick the songs they wanna learn on the iPad. They just follow the colors on the screen, and then the keyboard lights up and shows you what to play. Would y'all like that for your kids? Yeah. All right, we're right over here. Y'all can just grab one. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Okay, we're tram of dreamsing it up. I'm here for all of it. Whatever Kelly got, let's go. All right, y'all, we have set up another treat for y'all. It is a champagne brunch right here in the middle of the iconic town square on the Universal Lot, so let's do this. When I first saw the brunch, I was just amazed at how beautiful it was. It's an amazing experience. I've never had anything like this. What made you become a music teacher? Well, I did not want to be a teacher. And someone said, hey, can you go fill in at the high school and just teach a couple of classes of choir? And I fell in love with these kids. Wow. And I began to feel like I was waking up every day to go really make some wonderful investment in these kids. I think that it is so magical and important what you're doing. You said you're 71? Yes. That's insane. I could be retired, but I'm still teaching. You love it. Music is my passion. Thank you so much. I'm a Latin jazz singer, 
and oh. I was doing that for, for a while, and then one day I lost my voice. Wow. And they told me to have surgery. During that time, though, I was offered to teach oh. kids. No way. I had the surgery, and then I found my voice teaching the kids. And that's exactly how it all changed for me. Wow. Not only you're just a great teacher, but you're such a great example of a human. It's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Thank you that. for Thank coming. You. Thank you. That was so Thank awesome. You. All right, music teachers, come on over here. Yeah. Thank you so much for today. Thank you all for coming. I just want to reiterate the fact that like, I was a choir kid and you have no idea the differences you're making in these kids' lives. You have no idea what lessons you're going to teach them that are going to carry out into the world. And so, Pastor Michael, oh we have God. a surprise oh for you. Oh Pastor Michael, Voices of Destiny with this choir. Come on out. For Kelly Clarkson to give back to music teachers right now, I think is the shot in the arm that we all need. That was incredible! I just oh lost God. my voice screaming. Oh that was so great! Oh Thank you for gifting that! We have all been through so much up here. So singing for us is our lifeline. All I've ever wanted was for all of these kids, was for the whole world to see them. That's it. That's the whole reason why I did it. And so to see, so to see this happen for them and from Compton, we get to represent an area that a lot of people don't think good can come out of. And this is my whole, I'm shaking like <laughs> God answers prayers. So I thank God for it. Let's go back to stage one. Let's see what's next. All right, y'all, come on, follow me. Keep following, guys. Teachers who just saw on the trampoline. Yeah. So what do you think? They're amazing, right, teachers? Well, I love music teachers so much. You know, um, I think for a lot of kids, especially in middle school and high school, um, who are trying to find their voice and trying to figure out who they want to be in life, and I think music and drama teachers have so much influence when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. And I certainly had people in my life that did that for me. And uh, thank you for all the work yeah. that you do. Yes. Well, I had such a great time meeting all of y'all. I want to talk to y'all, a few of y'all, just some more. Um, Michael, tell me about that moment when your choir surprised you. That was pretty <laughs> magical. I cried. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, unbelievable, just hands down, the most amazing thing that has ever happened for me, but most importantly, what happened for the choir. I mean, to think that something as simple as your voice can open up so many doors, Amazing. So many times they want to give up. That just shot them in the arm. You make a huge difference in their life, a huge impact. I think it's utterly amazing that you gave us the opportunity. And then, I mean, the surprises, the surprises, the surprises. And then now we come up in here and John Legend is sitting here. <laughs> what? And I just want to say, you know, I'm a pastor's kid, you're a preacher's kid, so, you know, we identify yeah. and, you know, you help us do what we Dude, do. Dude, you yeah. should hear his choir. They're insane. I, I just, I'm, you I'm, did just hear it. I would like to thank you for inviting me out on the lot to go hang out with you. Aww. Me. You're busy. You have, like, so many kids, and you're usually in some random country when I talk to you. <laughs> but no, no that I, was wonderful. It, it, was, really it was. was beautiful. Your choir, it's just pure joy. Like, it's a, it's a beautiful sound. But thank you so much for coming back, and thank you for just being amazing to those kids. It matters, it really does matter. Let's talk to James next. 
James. How did Hi, you Kelly. discover? Hello. So tell everybody how you discovered your passion for music. Well, first of all, thank you so much for doing this. We are all so grateful. I'm a huge fan of yours, so it's an incredible experience thank to be you. here talking to you. And hi, John. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's casual, right? Uh, Just yeah. John Legend. It's fun. Music has been a huge part of my life. I never really told anyone that I liked to sing. I never knew if I was good or not. Yeah. So my sister Kim and I, we uh, performed for our family one year at Christmas, about 40 relatives. We sang the prayer, Celine Dion song. That's a big song. <laughs> and and it, it changed the course of my life. I decided from that moment to pursue music and to go to college. And my sister was such a big fan. And we lost her a few years ago unexpectedly. Um, but I'm so grateful I have that moment, that memory with her singing. And I'll cherish that forever. Well, okay, we have someone else who is moved by you and your sister singing the prayer, so we just wanted to show you something. What? Hi, James, it's Celine here, <laughs> and I hope you're doing well. Sorry I couldn't be there in person as I'm busy preparing for my tour, but Kelly told me about the great work you're doing with your students in Huntington Beach, and she wanted to surprise you with a pair of tickets to my L.A. concert <laughs> in April. <laughs> Hope you can make it, and I look forward to seeing you. Ciao for now, James. See you soon, Kelly. Love you. Bye for now. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm telling you what, I just saw her in Vegas, and she is like, it's like you're literally listening to her record. She's perfection at, at its finest, and she's hilarious. She's so sweet, and she was so lovely to do that, but she was really touched by your story, and it's, it's powerful. And I'm not going to cry, James. <laughs> She's definitely going to cry. <laughs> Everything is fine. How do you feel? That was Thank Celine Dion. Thank you so much. That was incredible. I can't believe <laughs> I hope you have so much fun. She, she's literally the best. But things are about to get even better for our teachers, y'all. No one knows this yet. But I've actually partnered with Norwegian Cruise Line, and they have some exciting news. So here to tell us all about it is the president and the CEO of Norwegian Cruise Line, Andy Stewart. Come on out here, Andy. Andy. Come on up here, Andy. I'm so excited. Hello. Nice to be here. Well, you have a seat. Have a Thank seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. So first, tell us about this beautiful ship. I mean, so I'm just you know, Norwegian Cruise Line, we're, we're passionate about the ships we build because of the memories that we create. It's all about memories for, for a lifetime. And Norwegian Encore is our 17th ship. And we've learned a little bit each time. So we think she's going to be the best ship we've, we've ever built. And we try to build ships that really deliver something different for everybody. So there's adventure. We have this racetrack on top of the ship. I that saw it. It goes out 13 feet off the edge of the ship. The cars go over 30 miles an hour. I it's, it's am a little in. Bit, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. We have crazy water slides, we have laser tag, we have unbelievable virtual reality. Wow. So that's for the adventure seekers. And then culinary, we have... Uh... Do you have John's wine? Mm -hmm. You should. I was looking at that. <laughs> I, didn't get a, I didn't get a glass, so that's I don't think John's idea. getting a... <laughs> I was like, we need to get that wine on there. Us. I'm like, yes. that's a good wine. We should. We, should, we should talk about your wine, but I need a little taste at some uh, Yes, please. <laughs> She looks amazing. So tell us the one thing she's still missing. You know what? The one thing she's missing is in shipping, a maritime tradition is every ship needs to have a godparent. The godparent brings luck to the ship. When we launch the ship, we smash a bottle of champagne against the side of the ship, and the godmother then brings luck to the ship for the life of the ship. Yeah. Now, you and I have a mutual friend, a yeah. young man called Elvis Duran from Elvis yes, Duran The do. Morning right. Show. Yes, we do. And I, he was godfather to our last ship, Norwegian Bliss. And I was talking to him about who should be a uh, godparent to Norwegian Encore. And what did he say? <laughs> 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 so I said to him, we're looking for someone who's a role model, someone who's inspirational. <laughs> and, so he said, and, he, <laughs> <laughs> and he said... And he said, you know, it's someone who you'd want to have over for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, and then this light bulb went off with him. Only if you to eat all your pie. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, the only person I can think of would be Kelly Clarkson. Oh, my God! It's the 17th ship, right? Yeah. OK, this is my anniversary, 17 years after winning Idol. So it's kind of cool, 17. That's, well, it, that's the, other, the other funny thing was this class is called the Breakaway Plus class. Yes, it is. And you have your Breakaway song, which yes. is so inspirational. So there, there were just so many things that you were the perfect choice. So we're thrilled. Yeah, the reading room. I love that we've incorporated the little reading room. It's so great. I, I can't wait to show you. It's I am very be, it's excited. Be beautiful. <laughs> I can't wait to race you on the racetrack. Trust. Yes, I'll do all of it. So yes. Is she going to break the champagne bottle? Yes, I am. I personally swing it, but she's what? definitely going to release it. You're going to release it. I want to 
I, I, I wouldn't hurt. Did you see my Since You've Been Gone video? I can destroy some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am so excited to be the godmother of this ship, y'all. I'm really excited. And I can't wait to christen it later this fall. But here's the thing. As godmother, I have special powers, right? And today I'm going to use them. Um, every music teacher from our Tram of Dreams is getting an all-expense paid cruise on my new ship! <laughs> I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.